Hello boys and girls and welcome to another cookery show with your virtual di- uh, virtual DJ, virtual chef Nathaniel C. I'm not with it today, lockdown's got me love. So anyway, so we're going to move on to a very, very quick, simple, tasty meal for Sunday. Now everybody has the same thing, Mom, normally every Sunday. Because I'm going to show you something a little bit tasty, a little bit quick and a little bit very easy, yeah? So, you've got your chicken, you've washed it. Right, you're going to be putting this into a pyrex dish, yeah? Which I've got here. So, we'll use that. First of the chicken, right? What you want to do is you want to be putting this on some foil, yeah? So I'll put this sheet down the foil, put it there, so you can see it. This will move you a little bit, there we go. Right, so you're gonna put chicken fillets on here, yeah? And all you want to do is get that chicken brush, put a little of oil, make a little ramekin, go like that. Put that in there, you've got your little brush. Right, and you're gonna get your chicken, and lay this out like that. I wash my hands before anybody says anything, and the chicken has been washed also. There we go. And you're just placing these down here, on there. Put that in there. Wash my hands. Oh god, hands are hot. So, you've got your chicken. Right, do not use the cheap salt. The salt is really bad for you, yeah? Sea salt is the best. And it's the best flavour. There we go. Pepper. Yep. Right. Garlic granules. Yeah. And all I'm going to do with the oil, instead of brushing it on, I'm just going to go like that over it. Just like that, drizzle it over. You can pour it over if you want, but better to drizzle really. And there we go. All you're going to do with that, you've got a massive donk on it, no you're not really, is I've got some fresh rosemary here. And I'm just going to put this in between it all, just like that. And you can fold it up, yeah? Fold it up like that, and it is as simple as that. And that will lock the flavours in, yeah? Put that in your Pyrex dish, yeah? Now we're going to move on to roasties. Very simple, very quick. We're keeping it simple, guys. Yeah? So, I'll chop some potatoes up, which I've already chopped some up. Stick them in the pan, just like that. And I'll chop some more potatoes up. I hope you're all staying safe, guys, and staying positive, and staying well. We're all in it together. Just remember that we're all in it together. Chop these. Now chop potatoes. Sure, them should be cooking. So, there we go. Chop potatoes in there. Just like that, yeah? You can see that. And maybe just three more, because I love my work. I'm only cooking for one, but that's quite a lot already. So, anyway. Pour whatever oil you have remaining in there. Just like that. Give them a swirl round like that. A bit of good seasoning. But you're coating them in oil, so theoretically it's going to crisp them up in the oven. If you put them in just dry and plain, like I know some people do, it's going to taste absolutely minging, yeah? Give them a little stir. Just like that, yeah? Good. Put that next to your chicken, which is already folded. And there we go. Bang, in the oven. Now they're going to go in at about 200 for... 35 minutes, yeah, 30 to 35 minutes at 200, and I'll be back. And I'm back, so now we're going to move on to the Yorkshire pudding, something very simple, something that people easily mess up, and it can be very, very easily rectified. I do not measure things, I do it my way, if you do it my way, you're going to not fail, yeah? So, plain flour, firstly. Here we go, plain flour. A nice big tablespoon, like that. And I count out seven of these, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got it now. Fucking hell, I'm just a mature, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Two eggs. There we go. There we go. Two eggs. Salt, not too much. Just enough. Pepper, pepper. And some milk. Now take the spoon out because that will not fold or will not take the bubbles out. And I'll make it lumpy. So look at that. Make sure you wash your hands in between each process, keeping hygiene to the max. And you want to do that, but you don't want to beat it too much here, guys, because you will beat the air out of it. They won't rise. So, what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to turn the oven up to about 2.15, yeah? And these need to be quite hot. I'm going to put the oil in. There we go. Oh, God, I'm 
pull that out. Um, not, not a problem, not a problem. Put them at the top. You want the arch punters at the top, guys, yeah? So, as you can see, that is going like, it just needs to get the lumps out. So, the best way to do it is get your fork and go to the sides like that, yeah? To the wall of the bowl, and it'll, it'll basically take the lumps out, yeah? And there you go, guys, there's your batter. So, so quick, so simple, so tasty. Oh my god, yes. So, and there you go, and I'll be back. Right, all I'm doing with the, um, the carrots, for the roasted carrots, is just put them in like that, yeah? Chop them in, leave the peels on because it's actually healthier for you, I like it, it's tastier, it's crispier, yeah? So all I've done is put a little bit of oil on them, and all I'm going to do now is put a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of treacle on, because I like sweet roasted carrots, yeah? Now you can use honey, you can get rid you can use whatever you want, darling, yeah? I'm going to use this, yeah? I like to use this, I don't like to use the same stuff all the time. And they are really, really nice. It brings out the flavours of the carrots, yeah? Pick this up cheap enough anyway, for probably about two quid from somewhere, yeah? Just like that. So simple, guys, so simple. So tasty though. Wash my hands. Oh God, that's fucking hot. Right. And they'll go in the oven as well now, guys. And I should be back very shortly. Bear in mind, you're going, to leave your hot, you're going to leave your oil in to get hot for about 15 to 20 minutes, yeah? Boom, I'll be back. And another little quick tip, just to let you know, when you're boiling, when you're boiling, oh God, when you're boiling your potatoes, use salt, not the cheap salt, guys, not the 25p one, because it's bad for you, yeah? The sea salt. You can pick it up, you can get the more expensive ones, you can get Schwartz, you can get whatever you want. It is cheap enough, I'll do less than a quid. Boom. But make sure you put a good little healthy bit of salt into the water because it helps them boil, it helps them fluff up and it gives them flavour, yeah. Boom. Right, I'm back. So, basically, you've got cheap granules, yeah? I'll show you how to jazz them up, make them taste nice of your gravy, yeah? So, all you want to be doing Always make sure as well, when you're doing your gravy, you get lumps at the bottom, it's disgusting, yeah? So, gravy for granules. Right. Salt. Because you've got to season everything. Things need flavour, yeah? And it's only going to be colourants and fucking everything in this anyway, so you want to give it a bit more extra flavour, yeah? So there we go. I'm giving it a touch of garlic. And I mean a tiny, tiny touch there. Just enough so you can taste it, but not too much, yeah? There you go. Add hot water to that, maybe. Oh, actually, I've got some mixed herbs, a tiny bit, which this has actually got some really nice things in it. This has got basil, thyme, and... There we go. Just a touch, just a... Tiny, tiny touch, there you go. And all you want to do is add hot water, hot water to that. And whatever consistency you want it, you can have it, yeah? Boom. Right, so you're going to take your oil out now and we're going to put the mix in, yeah? So. Oh, careful, make sure you keep it well a distance to you. Make sure your feet are covered. Because if you drop oil, it's going to burn you and it's going to absolute be agony, yeah? So just be very careful, guys. I'm using this little ladle, like soup ladle. And what you want to be hearing, is you want to hear it going, the oil, yeah? That's what you want to hear. That's how you know your oil is hot enough. Also, another little tip, do not open your cooker door for a good 10 to 15 minutes, because they will go like pancakes, because you're letting the heat out, and the heat is what bring, brings them up, yeah? They'll rise, but once you've let that heat out of the oven, they'll fucking go like pancakes, yeah? And you don't want that. Trust me, you really don't want that. Because they don't taste very nice. You want your Yorkies to be as fluffy as possible, full of air, full of tastiness, and I'll fuck it as big as possible, yeah? Boom. So, there we go. And see, I make this mix and I always have the tiddiest little bit left, so that's how I know my measurements are perfect for each tray for 12, yeah? There's one, about one left, yeah? And all I've done is fill them up like that, and they'll go back in now at 220 for about 20 to 23 minutes, something like that, yeah? Keep an eye on them, but like I said, do not open the oven until at least about well, 15 minutes, really. Thank you, and I shall see you soon. Right, and I'm back. So you've been, we've been, <laughs> you've been, in, been doing it for about 45 minutes. Everything's been in for about 40 minutes, 5 minutes preparation, or about 10 minutes preparation. Anyway, I'm going to get all out now, yeah? So, oh man. York is absolutely perfect. York is, look at that one, I mean, look at that. Ow, oh, that's hot, but wow. Yeah? Pop them on the side, love, yes. 
Ah, oh, yes. Get your rotary back at the top and pull it up. Full whack, yeah? Get your carrots out. Clap, perfectly roasted carrots. Kind of wise. Go in there, push your cap. Don't be a naughty boy. Yes, a bugger. In my life today is this pussy cat. So, we've done that, now we're going to move on to the mash, yeah? We've turned them up for a whack, just five minutes. So, empty the water out of your potatoes, like this. Fish mash boss, boom. Drain them off well. And you'll find they'll be fluffier, and they'll be full of flavour, because like I say, I've cooked them in the water with salt, yeah? So there you go. What we're going to do with these? Little knob of butter, like so, yep. Tiniest dash of milk, don't put too much milk in, yeah? Like so. Get your spoons ready for the flavour, baby. The flavour. I hope you're all staying positive. I hope you stay up, staying at home and staying well, yeah? Teaspoon of mustard, boom. Teaspoon of mint. Use different spoons now, you don't want to get cross contamination, you don't want bits in each with sauce. So there you go. Simple as that. Boom, boom, boom. Is that a little mixed round? Yep. There we go. Right, get your mash up. Mash it up, guy. See how bogle, bogle, bamba squat. So. And it is as simple as that. I like the food flavour, yeah. I want the food flavour. Playing one food like people cook, and I'm just showing you some tasty quick tips, yeah. And I mean, so far it's what 12 minutes long is this video, so in less than 15 minutes I've showed you how to make amazing fluffy Yorkshire puddings, garlic and rosemary chicken, perfect roasted, caramelised carrots, stuffing which is just out of the pocket because I'm cheating, I don't care. Your gravy, I've spruced it up for you. Show you how to do that. Look at your mash. There you go, perfect fluffy. Right, so I'm gonna spoon that out onto the plate and I should be back. Right, and there we have it. So now I'm gonna get the roast potatoes out, nice and crispy, perfect, yeah. And your chicken that you've cooked. Now the juices are gonna be in here in the foil, but the thing what you've done is it's steamed it because you dry your chicken out if you just cook it normally, yeah? When you bake it and it'll dry out. I mean, the smell from that is just amazing. I'm going to use the chicken oils and put it into the, this, yeah? Into the gravy. So, I shall be back. And there we have it, guys. So, your chicken. You've got your perfect mint, minted mustard mash. Roasties. Caramelised carrots. Your stuffing. Everything. And your gorgeous gravy just to pour over. Just like so. Yeah, baby. And that is how you make my gorgeous Sunday dinner for one. Doesn't matter if it's for one or if it's for two, I'll give you a little spin round. Don't forget, you can follow me on Near From Washington on YouTube. You can follow me on Come Cook With Me, Easy Tasting Meals, or you can follow me on Facebook. Stay safe, guys. I'll give you one last image of it. There we go. Boom. Love you all. And there it is, guys. The perfect, tasty, gorgeous chicken dinner.